Today we're gonna play a game Developed by Toby Fox in 2015 Yes, that's right, we're playing Undertale If you don't like it, you can go to Hey everybody, welcome back to the Undertale playthrough So what happened last time was I kind of thought the game was over And I gave it like a little review And I was like, ah, I'm gonna go try to find Undyne Because there was a little tiny, little eensy beensy teensy weensy bit of dialogue Saying, oh, Undyne's sleeping on the couch Why don't you go hang out with, go find her Go talk to her. So um, I just, I what happened here is I took a little trip to go find Undyne. And well, as you will see, the game was most certainly not over. So here we continue. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, oh the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Okay. Okay, stand behind me. Uh, for the record, because I know I uh, am going to cut out all the traveling I just did. I just went uh, all the way back to Snowden. I thought it was I was going to Papyrus's house. I clearly got that wrong. Uh, walked around this place for a very long time looking for Undyne's house. So anyway, for you. Psst, make sure to give her this. She loves these. What was it? Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private... I accidentally hit the button. That's like the fifth time I've done that in this playthrough, and it always annoys me. You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? I'm about to get murdered, aren't I? I would not go in this house in real life. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Oh, dog bone. Oh, a bone. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie dupsie, I just remembered I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not... Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. Ho ho ho, what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. Fa ho ho ho, it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? First, I'm going to look at this giant sword, though. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? Ha, I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. I thought the game was over. Honestly, I don't know what's happened. All set, what would you like? Jesus. Hey, don't get up! You're the guest, sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point at what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with arrows and select with Z. Oh. I would like... Hot chocolate... A soda? Sugar goes in tea. 
Oh, I could kill on. Oh, I want Undyne. Are you hitting on me? Yeah. Oh, she doesn't like it? Does it never end? Fine, give me. Tea box. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I don't know if it's blatantly correct. Oh. I'll take a moment for the water to. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Little, little awkward date. <laughs> slide whistle? They need more slide whistles in video games these days. Okay, it's all done. Your table, though, is... Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies, sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterward, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. thought Papyrus was, was gonna stick his head in the window just then. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Idea. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Foo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, afraid we're going to be best friends. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah, our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Gah! Oh, shit. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, shit. I'm pressing Z as hard as I can do it. As fast as I can do it. Harder! Ugh, let me do it. <laughs> Foo -hoo -hoo, that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. 
Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't do something. Hold right to turn up the heat. Oh. Hotter! Hotter, darn it. Hotter! Wait, that's too... Ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Dude, this place is toasted. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with other people. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Get out of here. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I've even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Yeah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Hey, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid sacred stick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you could persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Fuhuhuhu. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls across the barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Foo hoo hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you, but he told me when I still hated you, so... Uh, anyway, here, just take it. You got the Undyne's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it. Uh, oh yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, see you. Look at that poor house. So what, now I go see Dr. Alphys? Let's go see Dr. Alphys. Uh, Dr. Alphys is in Hotland, right? I think so. Then rough. Alright, hold on. I've been playing for way too long. Tra-la-la, -la, I heard spiders have a favorite food. It's spiders. Oh, I ate the snowball. I think. I think I may have survived the fight because I ate the snowball. That's true. It's gone. Man, I tried to save that guy for a long time. Uh, the lab. The lab, the lab, the lab. Hello, Alphys. Let me in. I got a... The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Yeah. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knot. Oh, oh no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't. I just slide it back out? No, no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. <laughs> she, like, lasered it open. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no, that's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. 
I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Dude, I'm just dating everybody around here. Play a play a starting date. I need some water. Uh, sorry, still getting dressed. Oh, you look beautiful. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, wait, actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop. Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Oh, well, uh, about that. This magical spear repair kit that I, um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Yeah, she was, uh, pre prepped for Undyne, for sure. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Hmm. It's about how I feel. Uh, do you like anime? Yes. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Okay. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey, she's really, uh... Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Nah! Have you at least seen her? I kind of like both of them, right? Yeah, I've seen her. Yes? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god, well, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. I must have read that wrong. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what people... Uh, scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't, don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay. Let's roleplay it. Roleplay? It actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <clears throat> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Ha, ha, glad to hear it. Um, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. I'm just gonna be normal. Um, you see, I, I, I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I, oh, forget it, Undyne. I, shoot. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special, like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in the way. 
Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. Oh, snap. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, I mean, actually, we're only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important, really. I just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt, and that time... Alphys! I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shush. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess, but you've got to realize, most of what you said doesn't really matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. I care. You care about it. 100% at maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training that you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what, me? <laughs> Jog boy? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne, I'll do my best. Oh my god, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Truth. No, no, I can feel my heart breaking into pieces. No, I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alphys. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. Our taking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. I don't even know what's happening. I still don't know when the game ends. Um, ah, here we go. Howdy, if it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alfred and I are finishing our training early, very early, so I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly... And for no apparent reason, you should also go there, to her lab, house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. Um, to the lab, the lab, the lab, the lab. I think I have to go this way. Okay, we're here, we're going to the lab. When does the game end though? Did it end already? I already like gave my full run through the game, but it wasn't even over. I don't know if it's ever going to be over. Where does that elevator take me? Did that open previously? I'm just going to go up. Oh, wait. I'll be back. I don't remember that. Oh, there's a message, strange handwriting. It says, I know what you did. I don't remember that from before. All right, I need to read this. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. Read. 
It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore, and for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine, but if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote, folks. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs because I think I saw Metaton. Looks like Metaton is undergoing repairs. Oh, that's all I wanted to see. Oh, Metaton's uh, promo poster. Thank you for making my dreams come true. That's cool. All right. Let's go into here and find out what she did. Warning, warning, elevator losing power. Um, tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. What is happening? Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy, destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Ooh. Dang, dude. True laboratory. There's a note on the ground. You can't make a, out all, all of it. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Oh, shit, dude. I got chips. Potato chips. Heals 13 HP. Regular old potato chips. Oh, that must be the elevator. Asgore asked everybody outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. Oh! The cousin fell down. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I've told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Ugh. You turn on the sink. What did I just do? Oh, shit. Something drew near.
Oh, what the f No data available. Can't move. But nobody came. Cell. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun! But nobody came. Memory head? Join. Just a moment. Come join the fun. Oh, damn, I thought I was far enough away. Nobody came. Refuse. That's a shame. Let's all get together. Come join the fun. Should I fight? Seem like it doesn't care anymore. Oh, okay. No gold. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. Alright, cool. I got a key. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you could read. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. The red switch has been turned on. I was hoping the lights might turn on. I wonder if this changes. It does... Oh. Things aren't going well... Yeah, okay. It did not change. Oh, nice. Let's go... Oh, okay. I got red. Ah, oh, red door, okay. Looks like I got a lot to do. Number 12. Nothing has happened. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Ugh. Creepy. Yeah, why is it so bright all of a sudden over here? Oh, the sun! Well, I hope you don't mind my, uh... My, like... Sunlight. Behind my green screen. I didn't think, uh... It would've popped through. Looks pretty good, actually. God, look at all these creepy beds. There's something under the sheets. Check it out? Yes. It's a yellow key. You put it on your keychain. Seems like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were to the left of it. All right, let me check them all first. I got lucky and found the key one first, it seems. Let's save before I get in the bed. All right. Comfy bed. Free nap. Oh, jeez. What am I looking at? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That was a kind ghost. Now what's happening? Alright, it's an empty dog food bowl. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, let's read this. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all waking and around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. The clock is broken. Uh, I think before I go that way, I'm gonna pop over here. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Golden flowers. Number seven? We'll need a vessel to weld the, wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Maybe I'll go check this room first. Is 
Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Number 16. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus, dude. I really don't like a bunch of different paths that I gotta keep track of. Alright. I'm going to stay... here. Because it seems like the same place. I already read that one. Number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. Doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Oh, man. Dim ghosts. Uh, something way. Something last look. I don't know what's happening. Okay, that wasn't bad. Mystify. You did something mysterious. Recognizes it more to... Something recognizes it, and there's more to learn from this world. This is weird, dude. Darn. Uh, we mystified... It's like a little bit of everything. Does have the eye. We'll pick on him. You pick on it. It seemed effective. Damn, you got me. Queen, you wash your hands, nothing happened. I don't even know what's going on, dude. This thing is ridiculous. Pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Oh. Someone finally gets it, Ribbit Ribbit Courage. Yay! No gold. Who needs gold, though, man? We're moving. Ah, shit. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Cold. That's all you could read. Some kind of switch. There's a blue colored slot in the center. Well, that sucks. I did not get the blue key. So, that sucks. I bet it's in... I'm thinking that there's gonna be a blue key and some golden flowers. Right? Nope, just golden flowers through the whole thing. Alright, no worries. Did I check the plants? There's one more fake plant down here. Oh, there's two. We're on a search, it seems. Uh, I'm not going that way again, because it's crazy. Oh, shit. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. There's a switch on the wall. Press it? Yes. Uh-oh. Beedly boop. It's 
do this, man. It's the amalgamate. Pet. Amalgamate is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. They look like dogs, kind of. Oh, shit. Amalgamate is watching you intently. Play. Not excited enough to play with. Smells like a bunch of dogs. Ignore. You try looking away, but it seems to appear everywhere you look. Wow, that's creepy. Darn. One hit. Oh, two hits. Watching you intently. Crab apple. All right, let's do this. Oh, I saw it coming. Um, beckon. You call the amalgamate. It bounces toward you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Gross, dude. I did not plan that one well. Hovering close, looking for affection. Pet. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Z. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. That's not what I expected, to be honest with you. The amalgamate is striking the wall with its claws. Um... Beckon it again? Feelers rotate quickly. Nothing else happens. All right, so we already did that. Whew, got lucky. Striking the wall with its claws. Play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It leans... It's dripping amorphous body on you. Don't lean your dripping amorphous body on me, dude. It's not cool. It's gross. Amalgamate is twitching affectionately. Um... Pet? You pet the amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. This is the one that I am the worst at, unfortunately. Oh, good. Amalgamous convulsions intensify. Pet. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Indigeny is contented. Yeah, that was... That was a fight. Well, I've hit a switch somewhere. It's done a thing. I did that, I did that. Oh, I feel like I'm going to... Well, there's this big thing over here. Fuck. I wasn't ready for this. It smells like sweet lemons. Ugh. Lemon bread. Let's scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. Welcome to my special hell. No doubt, dude. It smells like sweet lemons. Call. You called for help, but nobody came. What is that? Stay here with me. Shit. Um. Let's flex on this dude. You flex your arm. Lemon bread's muscle shakes. That's what they all say. Damn. All right. Smells like lemons. What do I do now? Flex again? You flex your arm. Nothing else happened. Damn, that sucks. This is a hard one, dude. It's like... 
it's like kind of uh there's a lot of different things to try cry you cried as loud as you could but nobody came ah! fuck You cannot give up just yet, Cat BRV. Stay determined. I will stay determined. I'm just going to be honest. What's actually happened here is I kept recording. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what's happening, right? Like, I just kind of thought the game was over. I was all excited. And I just kept like, oh, there's one little cool thing. One little cool thing and it never ends. Oh. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it in your keychain. Well, that's great. I need a blue key. I know that's a just a jerk. Oh, I have a yellow key. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. That's all you can read. I already got that one. Click. The yellow key fits perfectly in the slot. Nice. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like mostly cartoons of some kind. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Oh, Jesus. Psst, Gory, wake up. Hmm, what is it, dear? Hmm, and why do you have that video camera? Shh, I just want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what's my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. He, he, he. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Haha, ha, I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. Man, dude, that was uh, Toriel and Asgar. What's his name? Asgar. There are a bunch of VHSs, mostly cartoons, alphabetized, a few stray, and sticky ones. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like as gores watch them. I don't think he should. Oh, you can't. Oh, there we go. Okay, Cat VRV, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah, hee hee hee. Oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Haha. -ha. It was me? That's creepy. Howdy, Cap VRV. Smile for the camera. Ha, huh? this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hee hee hee. What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Man! The flowers with the two people talking on the path, they were the brother and sister. It was their kids. Or maybe not the brother and sister, the human and the monster, but you know, the kids. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera, okay? Man, that's wild. I, I don't like this idea, Cab VRV. What, what? No, no, I'm not. The big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Cab VRV. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Hmm. Cab, can you hear me? I want you to wake up. Cab, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You're the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Cab, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six, and we'll do it together, right? Yo, dude. This is crazy. All 
Alright, let's take this thing out. I don't feel like I made any progress with it. Uh, flexing did something. I could unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Welcome to my special hell. Shit, damn. Smells like sweet lemons. Uh, I also flexed on him. He flexes muscle shakes. Whoops. And so we're gonna unhug, we're gonna flex, we're gonna hum, maybe? Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Could this be goodbye? Nice. I got lucky. Learned a little bit from the previous ones, I guess, but it felt a little lucky. Alright, let's go. DT extraction machine status inactive. I don't know about that, dude. 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Oh, Jesus. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Come back to that one. Spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Now samples. It's empty. <clears throat> well, shoot. It's so cold. Heckle. You said something like, you look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that? Snowy. Okay. It's snowing. It smells like salty slush. Laugh. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. Snowy. Joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, -ha, I... It's so cold. Her expression changes more. Ha ha, thank. It's so cold. Joke. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. Oh, yay. You found a blue key on the ground. Put it in your keychain. All right. Okay, it said it was empty. I don't know. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Click. The green key fits perfectly. All right. I think we have all the keys now. I don't like that shaky refrigerator. I think that was a trick because that one was actually fine. But the other one was not. Uh, blue door was all the way to the right. Or blue keyhole, I think. If I remember correctly. Or is that just where the plane switch was? The switch doesn't do anything. Okay. I'm a little lost on where I was at. I think I need to go... down and right then. I should say. Because that was a lot of work to lose. Think it was in here? Yes. Nice. That should mean the elevator's active. I certainly hope so. Yo, that bed just moved. Keep me away from it. <clears throat> You know, I really, I kind of talked about it once before where, like, the words just show up, but I think it's pretty good. Like, the, the signs on the wall, the, the screens.
What does that mean? Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Let's do it. Looks like an evil demon I'm about to fight. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hmm. Maybe three of them. Hey, stop! Oh, thank God. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips on you and... Or you had, and... Anyway... The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just big a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came in here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back, but that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth, that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I call determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take the concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those... Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrible or horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself, I'm sure there will be times where I struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again, but knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Hmm. Does this mean there's an elevator? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? The flower's gone. Ooh, that was sad. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Cabby there. It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Cab, see you soon. Well, the elevator... might be working. The door is jammed shut with vines. That's weird. Where am I? Oh. Do you think I should go to uh, his garden? I don't know that I can actually, like, go back and do anything. Interesting. I, I guess we'll take that clue about the flower... Just head up here to the garden. That's the only thing I can think to do at this point. Um, I have to go... I think he's like home or something. That's the kid's room. Always under renovations. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll just take the long way back to the garden. Man, what a mind trip, dude. This game is crazy. It is kind of a long path, though. Take this opportunity to have a drink. Uh, 
I don't even really remember how far away it is. I think I'm close. You know, I never pointed out, or I never talked about the, um, you, like, you get to give it your own little name. It's a really good design, nice little striped shirt. It's like yellow, <laughs> like in the Simpsons, you know, it's cool. Oh, oh I can go in here. Um, oh, right. I want to go this way. Uh, if there's nothing up here, I'm just, uh, I'm out of clues and I'll, I'll call it quits, but I just want to check out that, that flower real quick. Well, I came here, nothing was here. I think that's it, guys. What a... What a game. Well, I've already, uh, <laughs> I already gave my, my final thoughts like an two hours ago or, so, or something. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed that. I feel like there might be more. So at, at this point when I'm just, I'm, I feel like I'm done. I feel like I've, I've done everything. Maybe all I could really do is like start over. Um, I think there was some choice there and not in letting everyone live. Uh, well, I, 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 kn I didn't know that at first, but I kind of learned later that you could like play that way. And then I think that was kind of verified when Sands was like kind of telling me what to uh, he was kind of giving me the stats prior to uh, going into that long golden hallway. Um, and so uh, I think I know that there's like, you know, I can play it again and uh, kill everybody. I don't think I'm going to do another run through. But um, what I might do after this is go look up and just see if, like, there's more to the game or if that's just it. Like, I'm just kind of dumped into nothing just here. Um, not really sure. So anyway, that's going to do it for me today. So thanks for joining me. Uh, see you next time. Bye.